everyone, Maya here from My Storybook, and welcome back to our Book of Day series this week. Today, we have a very fun Easter egg themed read aloud, and you might recognize one of the characters on this cover. Who does that look like? This reminds me of The Good Egg, and if you remember, this book, The Good Egg, my friends, these books are actually related. That means that they go together. We're going to be seeing some of the same characters from The Good Egg in The Great Eggscape. So these two books are written and illustrated by the same author and illustrator, and they wrote this one first and then came up with this fun Easter-themed one or Easter egg hunt-themed one. Do you celebrate Easter? If you do, I know that a lot of families sometimes go on Easter egg hunts, right? Where they hide the eggs and then all the kids get to go and try to find them. And what's usually inside of the Easter eggs? Yeah, lots of sweet treats, sometimes some little toys. Some people get an Easter basket. There's sometimes an Easter bunny involved. Which reminds me, some of you might have noticed our studio background is a little different to match our Easter themed book. But if I look over in the back, I see an Easter bunny here, Poppy here, and she reminds me of Easter because she's got kind of those pastel colors on, pink and light purple, kind of spring colors. She's a bunny, and I always bring her out around Easter time. So, Hoppy says hi. You might also notice we have our Happy Easter cup. So, we can get it instead of happy, it says Poppy, great for a cup of tea or maybe some juice for springtime, some nice fruit juice. And there's even some eggs, some Easter eggs up on the wall. And if you look closely, my friends, you'll see they're not just plain. They've got some faces on them. And these are faces that you might actually see in our story, The Great Eggscape. Because these faces that I put on my eggs actually come from inside the book, where at the front cover they have all these stickers I can use to decorate some eggs. So my friends, if you're interested in getting some of these stickers to decorate your own eggs, I suggest you check out getting this book and bringing it home with you to add to your own home library. Then you can use the stickers and you can read along with my storybook during our read aloud video. So I'm just going to give you a little up close sneak peek of some of the eggs in our wall. Okay, and you'll see that some of them have little characters from the book, those stickers on them, right there. And some of them have faces going on here and here, some funny faces. You might see the little tape that I used to stick them to the wall. All right. So that was our little egg background studio tour. The stickers are meant to help you decorate your own eggs. My friends, do you decorate eggs during Easter time? Sometimes you dip them in the dye. Yeah. Well, we're going to see some egg ventures in this story about them getting up to all sorts of fun egg activities in their grocery store where they live. We're going to get to see our friend Shell, who is also from The Good Egg, and see what he's up to with all of his friends. Now, I know that Easter might be a bit different this year because of the quarantine and how we have to social distance ourselves from others right now. So you might not get to do the whole big Easter egg hunt with lots of family and friends, but hopefully you still get to find a way to celebrate with your own family. I'd love to hear what you do or about your own Easter egg hunt adventure, so please do share with me later. All right, well, I think we are about ready to start our reading adventure. Are you? Okay, let's get started. The title of today's interactive read aloud is The Great Eggscape. So that word kind of sounds like the word escape. Do you know what that means to escape something? Yeah, right, to kind of like run away if you are trapped to break free and be free to run and go do whatever you want. So this word though is the great eggscape, not escape. It's kind of like a funny play on words because they sound the same and they're meant to mean the same thing, except this one has the word egg in it for all the eggs. So the great eggscape written by Jory John and illustrated by Pete Oswald. So they're the same author and illustrator who brought us the book, The Good Egg, The Bad Seed, The Cool Bean, if you remember those. If you haven't read those books yet, my friends, I suggest you go watch my storybooks videos of those right away. They are super fun reads too. Very funny books. And then you get to see our friend Shell again in The Good Egg. So the great eggscape. My friends, what do you think is going to be happening in this story? 
maybe they're gonna run away from something. Huh, my friends, if I look at the background of the cover, the settings, so the settings where the story takes place or the background, where does it look like they are? Yeah, it looks like they're in a grocery store aisle, right? I see these look like boxes of cereal over here, maybe some bottles of something, milk, ketchup. And I see some three characters here. So the characters are the people or animals in a story. What do you notice about these characters? Yeah, well, I noticed they're all eggs. One of them is kind of a plain brown egg, but then what about these two on the sides? How are these two different? They've got some color going, huh? And I know my friends, I've never seen eggs like that at the grocery store naturally, right? They don't come out of a chicken like that. They must have done some Easter egg dye on them, right? To change their colors and make them all patterny. Well, is there anything you're wondering about this book or this cover before we get started? Okay, great wonderings. I am very curious to know what is this great escape they are talking about? Well, should we find out? I think so. Well, before our title page, my friends, this book has these stickers, again, that I have used to decorate my eggs. That's why there's some missing, because I use some of them. Remember, if you want to use some of yours too, you can check out this book for your own home. Now, here is our title page. It has the title of our story, The Great Eggscape. Our author and illustrator, George John and Pete Oswald. And there's always like a little extra picture right here. And what do you see in this picture? I see a whole bunch of eggs and behind them there's this sign that says local fresh farm eggs. So they're fresh eggs. But what do you notice they are doing? They've got some ropes and it seems to me like they're supposed to be in the carton. But what are they doing? Escaping. Hmm. hmm. Howdy. I'm Shell. An egg. How's it going? How's it going, friends? Hmm. Can I see that shell is the only egg in this egg carton? I wonder where all the other eggs are. Huh. Well, it's just me today. I'm on my own. The other eggs? Where are they? Good question. Huh. So he's not quite sure where the other eggs are either. Where do you think they are? Hmm. The thing is, sometimes they leave the carton. So the carton is where you keep all the eggs. They leave the carton on weekends before customers arrive. They escape into the store. Huh. So my friends, if you ever wondered what eggs do while no one's in there, now we know they leave their carton. <laughs> you think that's really true? They get up and move? No. But this is fiction, right? A story. It's a make-believe story. And oh, I see this guy looks a bit familiar. That looks like the good egg. Hmm. So Shell must be one of the eggs that live with the good egg. So they escape into the store. And they call it the great eggscape. You know, escape, eggscape. You get it. So remember we talked about kind of like a play on words. It sounds just like the word escape. And if I look way up here, my friends, it seems like, does Shell go with them? No. Huh. Me? I'm not really in the mood to run around. If you want to know the truth, I'd rather just sit here. I don't mind a little me time. So remember, it's important to have time for yourself too, if you need it. No reason to go frolic, go run and play with everybody else. I prefer adventures of imagination. It's quite peaceful here without all the other eggs. So what does he like to do while all the other eggs are out? Likes to read his book, drink some juice, and he's reading the book Great Egg Expectations. It's also funny because there's a real book called Great Expectations. And sure, there's a part of me that wonders what they are doing right this moment. And I have a few guesses. My friends, what are your guesses? What do you think they're doing right this moment? Good guesses kind of interesting to think about what might an egg get up to in a store. And here I see that they left a little note for Shell and it says, we are out. We'll return whenever we feel like it. <laughs> so remember, they're kind of mischievous, naughty eggs sometimes. Well, Shell is wondering what they're doing right this moment. And right this moment, we are getting a sneak peek into what they are actually doing. And my friends, what are they doing right here? It 
It looks like they are dyeing themselves. Remember, so dyeing is when they add colors to them. Right here, I see that it says egg dye. And how are they dyeing themselves? Kind of like they're taking a bath. I see this one's kind of like a diving board. And look at all the cool colors they chose, huh? I see here that they have all sorts of different colors that they chose. Which one do you like best, my friends, on this page? They're also pretty, huh? Whee! Yay! They say, ah, we look amazing. So festive. Let's play a game. Hmm, what game are they going to play? Everybody, pick a good hiding spot. What game does that sound like? Hide and seek. Do you play hide and seek, my friends? I bet you pick really good hiding spots. What's the best hiding spot you've ever hidden? Wow, I bet you were super hard to find. Great idea, says this egg. Shell will have to come find us. And this one says, he oh, won't know where we are. <laughs> so now here's where some of them are hiding. I'm behind a tomato. I'm next to the avocados. I'm blending in with the potatoes. <laughs> and then here's this potato saying, wait a minute. What's so funny about that? Being a potato is serious business. <laughs> this potato doesn't seem like he wants that egg hiding with him. So they are all finding a different place to hide in the grocery store. My friends, if you were playing hide and seek in the grocery store, where would you hide? Hmm. Meanwhile, what is Shell up to while all the other eggs are gone? He's got even more activities going on. Oh, he says, this is the life. Taking a bath. When you live in a carton with a lot of roommates. You never get much peace and quiet. Oh, having a spa day. These look like some self-care activities that the good egg did when he was feeling really stressed. So I'm going to enjoy this while it lasts. And what is he doing here? Taking a nap. But exactly two hours, 36 minutes, and two seconds later. Hmm, says Shell. Wait. Nobody's back yet. Where are Clegg and Meg and Peg and Egbert and Greg and Shelby and Shelly and Sheldon and Frank and other Frank? <gasps> Did I forget anybody? <laughs> so remember, they have all those names of the eggs in their carton. <laughs> anyway, they should have been home by now. So it sounds like usually the eggs aren't gone for this long. And my friends, why are they gone? What are they waiting for? They're waiting for Shell to come find them. Does he know that though? Does he know they're playing hide and seek? No, he doesn't. So he's probably feeling what? A bit worried maybe? Do you think he'll leave the cartoon to try to go find them? Let's see. Well, these great escapes are usually over by lunch when everybody gets hungry. They're not back yet. Goods are hiding. We'll just wait a few more minutes. They'll surely be home quite soon. And are they coming back though? No reason to stress. Oh, he's getting some cracks, kind of like the good egg had done before. No reason to pace, to walk back and forth. No reason to get all worked up. <sighs> he's blown into a paper bag. Sometimes that helps you if you're stressed. Boom, goes the clock. What time is it? It's noon, noon. Morning is officially over. <gasps> Sounds like they should definitely be back by now. Okay, now I'm getting nervous. Where are my friends? Are they okay? Should I go look for them? But what if they come home while I'm away? Oh, I just don't know what to do. How is Shell feeling right now? Very stressed and nervous and worried, right? Like he has no idea what is going on and can't figure out what to do. <laughs> Meanwhile, so while he's freaking out, here's what the other eggs are doing. They are still hiding, it looks like. And my friends, what are some of their hiding spots they found? Yeah, good eyes. Well, this one says, he, he, he. Oh, he's hiding in the pickles. Hmm. Homemade farm to table. So this store sells a lot of things that come from fresh from the farm. Over here, this one says, he, he, he. he's hiding in the veggies, the beets, carrots, kale. My friends, have you ever eaten any of these veggies? Yeah, there's some good ones. 
over here. <laughs> They're hiding in the grapefruit. Mm, I love grapefruit. Do you? <laughs> There's this one hiding in the flowers. <laughs> this is this one in the cheese. And <laughs> this one's blending in with pineapple. So they are still waiting for a shell, hoping he figures it out. And their shell, what did he decide to do? Looks like he left the carton and is going to go look for his friends. I must find them. Where do I start? Maybe in aisle one? That seems promising. And what's in aisle one? Lots of pickles. Wait, was there an egg hiding in the pickles? I think there was. Pickles, pickles, pickles. It's all pickles. Sheesh. But wait. Do you see one of the egg friends here, my friends? Wait, Greg, is that you? What are you doing by those pickles? And why are you painted like a galaxy in outer space? <laughs> so Shell has no idea that they did some egg dye. They're hiding. I'm hiding. But why? Why not, says Greg. So Greg is super cheerful and Shell's kind of like, what is going on? Well, I found you. Indeed you did, Shell. Indeed you did. Shall we look for the others? Indeed. And did he find some of them? Looks like it. Found you. And found you. Ooh, the one in the beats. And there you are. Pineapple friends. I found you. Oh, remember the potato one. <laughs> well, all right. Is that everybody? Line up eggs. Let's see. We have you, and 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 you. Is that it? That's 10 eggs plus me, which equals 11. Hmm, my friends, do you know how many eggs usually come in a carton? A dozen, right? So that's 12. They have 11. How many are they missing? There's one egg missing. Uh oh. Wait just a minute. <gasps> Where's Meg? Has anybody seen Meg? Meg! Wait, says Shell, where are you guys going? Where are they going? Hmm. To get some lunch, Shell, and maybe take a nap. <laughs> he looks tired, huh? Hide and seek is tiring. Meg will turn up eventually. She always does, says this one. And if you take a look at their faces, my friends, they look kind of loopy, right? Like, they had too much fun. Now they need to rest. Eggs, halt, says Shell. Halt means stop. Can you try, my friends? Say halt. Halt is another word to say stop. So if you want someone to stop something, you can say halt. <laughs> As the old saying goes, if a fellow egg is hiding, we must look until we find them. Or maybe that's a new saying. <laughs> anyway, we're not finished until we're all back together as a dozen. Got it? So he's like, you're not resting until we find all the eggs. Good, let's go. How do the other eggs feel about that? They're not super excited, but they understand. They need to find all of their friends. All right, Greg, search the high shelves. Pig, check the low shelves. Clegg, don't forget the middle shelves. Sheldon, look through that bag of marshmallows. Shelby, comb aisle five. Egbert, investigate aisle six. Me, I'll scour the discount aisle. So scour means search through. He's going to search through the discount aisle. Meg has got to be around here somewhere. So Shell is taking charge, telling all the other eggs where to look. So that's a good strategy, right? To spread out. You think they'll find her? Hope so. Wait, what has he got here? Looks like a note. Shell, Shell, I found a note by the cash register. It might be a clue. And my friends, I don't know if you've noticed, but throughout this story, some of the words are in different colors, which kind of tells me when a different egg is speaking. That's a cool thing to use if you're writing a book so people know that there's different characters talking. Well, read it, Greg. Okay, okay, you don't have to yell. So this is what the letter says. If you want to find an egg, just like a pot of gold, Go where things are sold in bulk and look for something bold. Where things are sold in bulk and look for bold. Huh. 
It was a clue shell. It means it is a clue. Indeed, Greg, indeed. So Shell's got a thinking face on. Hmm, book. So book can be really big, like an elephant. Bold book. So something really bold means kind of like brave. So he's thinking of a monster truck. Bold book. No, he's thinking mountains. So bold can also mean like grand. Wait, I think I've got it. Follow me, eggs. To the bulk bin aisle. Onward. So onward mean let's go. <laughs> Can you try that? Onward. So the bulk aisle, my friends, do you know what the bulk aisle in the grocery store is? That's where they have all of the different foods and bins and you can just scoop out however much you want. Wow, there are just so many bins, but which one is the right one? How would we know? How are they going to find out which one it is? Um, Shell? It's a different color print, means a different egg. Remember how the clue said to look for something bold? Do you think Meg is hiding in there? And why does she think the egg might be hiding in there? If you look closely, this label says bold coffee. So bold. <gasps> of course, Peg, of course, says Shell. Eggs, shoulder stack, unite. Oh, bloop, 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 bloop. So look at that. They're stacking each other up. Knock, knock, we know you're in there, Meg. Oh, and did they find her? Oh, there's Meg. <laughs> she says, oh, looks like Meg is talking. Her words are in pink, kind of like to match her. Oh, hi, I thought you were never going to find me. Nice work, Shell. Glad you found your way out of the carton for once and into the world. Thanks, Meg. But it wasn't just me, says Shell. We found you as a group, and now we're back together again. <sighs> Oh, so did Shell do it all by himself? No, right? They all work together. Greg found the clue. Peg thought over the word bold. Shell helped them all search everywhere. Huh, they all stacked up to help them look into the bin. You know, looking for eggs is fun, says Shell. Finding eggs is more fun, though. But the most fun of all... What do you think the most fun of all is? The most fun of all is a chance to frolic with your friends. So frolic, remember, means to have fun, to play and laugh. Wow, my friends. I see a little disco light here and look how much fun they are having. So it seems like Shell now has a different feeling about going outside of the carton. What did he think at the beginning of the book about going out of the carton? He wasn't really interested, right? He didn't want to go. But what does he think now? That it's a really fun chance to get out and play with all of his friends and frolic. Yeah, my friends, do you frolic with your friends? What kinds of things do you frolic and do? Those sound fun. So kind of like Shell, you probably agree that it's very fun to be outside and frolic and play with friends. Better than being inside all by yourself. But again, if you need some time alone, take it, my friends. That's doing self-care, like the good egg told us about. Say, when's the next great escape? Shall we do this again tomorrow? <gasps> so now Shell really wants to go, huh? Indeed we shall, Shell. And how do all the other eggs feel that Shell wants to join them? Very happy, right? Because now they can all go out together. The end. So that was the story of the great escape and what an adventure, my friends. What was your favorite part? <laughs> yeah, those are all good parts. I really liked seeing how all the eggs found different hiding spots and all their very beautiful colors that they dyed themselves. That was fun to watch too. It was also really sweet how Shell in the end found out that he really liked playing and frolicking with his friends. This book really gets me in the mood for Easter and doing some of my own Easter egg hunting. It was kind of like they were on an egg hunt too, right? Trying to find all the eggs that were hidden. That's a clever story. My friends, have there ever been eggs that you were trying to find that were so hard to find? Their hiding spots were just so good. Yeah. What was the hardest egg to find? What was the best hiding spot you've ever found an egg in? That sounds super difficult to find.
Okay, well, I hope this gets you into the Easter mood if you celebrate Easter. If not, then it's just a fun read aloud about some eggs, hanging out and having fun in the grocery store. And again, a great book to read along with the other book, The Good Egg. And if you check out my storybooks YouTube channel, you'll also find a read aloud of The Good Egg there, plus the bad seed and the cool bean. Some other fun characters from Jory John and Pete Oswald. This story was shared with me by HarperCollins Publishers, so thank you to them for sharing this. And again, my friends, if you want to check out the stickers on your own, please check out the book and add it to your own home library and shelves. If you do use the stickers or create your own eggs and decorate them, I'd love to see them, so please share them with me. You can share them with me on Instagram, Facebook, on the blog or email me. You can find all those social media links down below. I love to hear from you and always reply. And as always, my friends, please make sure to subscribe to my storybook to keep up with all of our interactive read-alouds. There are still two more books in our Book a Day series for Thursday and Friday. They are great reads, and I can't wait to share them with you. All right, well, that brings us to the end of today's reading adventure. I hope, as always, that you are staying safe, staying healthy, finding some other great books to read at home with your families. But until tomorrow, friends, I hope you have a great rest of your day or the rest of your morning, and I will see you next time. Until then, happy reading!